Hello, I'm Gui Zhang. Today, I will introduce Biochlinix to you. Uh, the first section, uh, I will introduce uh, what is Biochlinix. Like Biochlinix itself, the repository is wholly maintained by the uh, volunteers, and uh, they really release the packages. Biochlinix is a community for biologists using uh, the Archlinux and the Archlinux based distribution. Uh, User support this uh, community in many aspects. For example, by opening an issue, making pull request, and uh, uh, helping complete the wiki, or even uh, chatting with the maintainers via our metric channel. Okay, in this section, I will give you some points. Why should you choose our community? The first link contributed to our repository is quite easy. The package-based uh, packaging uh, method of the Arch Linux is much easier than uh, uh, RPM and uh, DAB-based Linux distribution. Package can be contributed to the repository with just a single simple shell script and a uh, single YARM script. Typically, just a few less long. Uh, and uh, Python script is also optional for our maintainers. Okay. And the third point is that using our community uh, repository is quite easy for users. Only several simple commands to install your uh, package you want. Uh, and the circle dependence will, will not be encountered. And uh, the third point is that setting software uh, is easy with our community. Uh, the, repos the repository provides where possible uh, a DOI each uh, package description uh, uh, have. Uh, this makes it easy for users to find out more about each package's uh, use and uh, methodology, uh, and to quick identify the uh, proper citizens when pre preparing their publications. The final point is the mirrors are worldwide, and our maintainers are also from the whole world. Uh, people from the countries with the internet blocks uh, don't need to suffer slow internet speed and a legal risk to um, access their uh, very crucial software. Local mayors of our repository would provide a great support to, uh, to their studies. We are from different countries and uh, the community is full of the diversity and we can help uh, people from uh, different uh, countries uh, very well. And uh, the final section, I will introduce, um, I will explain how Biology Linux works. Biology Linux repository is maintained by several open source software packages. The main tool is the Python application named uh, like. Uh, the most basic step is writing the script following a standard uh, uh, Arch Linux and uh, Lilac uh, YARM, we write a uh, package build shell script and YARM fail uh, and put this in a folder uh, of a Gator repository. Uh, the new version checker uh, read the uh, Lilac dot YARM to open to obtain the information on the upstream website where the latest version can be checked. In new version checker, if, if, if the new version checker can't find the um, package version from the upstream website, it will send a, a mail to the maintainers to report to report this problem. Uh, the information from the new version checker is uh, uh, the information from the new version checker is sent to Lilac, which uh, judge if the package needed to be upgraded or not. If if the package needed to upgrade, Lilac will send a 
package to the Debtons. The Debtons is uh, Arch Linux packaging tones. Debton can give a package a very clean environment uh, with just the dependence listed in the uh, package build to allow it to uh, uh, be built. Uh, this avoids the situation that missing um, dependence for packages. If the package fails to build, a warning email is automatically sent to the package maintainers. If the package are built successfully, Arch Report 2, the software uh, will put the Arch Linux package into a specific path and generate a new data database file. Uh, to the brand to form a brand new repository. The entire building process is recorded at the long field that uh, uh, can be read by a uh, Rust software called the Belch um, packages and show in our long website. Our wiki website is built uh, based on MediaWiki. Uh, all one, all people can freely contribute to this seed uh, on uses of the Bell Informatics software and the uh, Bell Informatics concept and term. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention.